crap this is. Well, what's going on? I don't know. Are you doing that? The scream? No. I can't do that. I have ice you magic, just remember? Screaming to scream? What is that? Are you think okay? Help you don't need to help, and they've been stood there saying help for like the past 20 minutes. Are you guys okay? I don't think they actually perfectly need help, fine. they just like the word. Okay, they said they're perfectly they, fine, leave they, them alone. See? Perfectly right, fine. Well, I mean, I can always go get a ladder just in case. Uh, the other one's pretty capable if Not uh, going to get you out the tree. needed, I think. Oh, okay. Who's muted? Hmm. Uh, not I needed, I said. Oh, not I needed, think. yeah. Uh, anyway, did you give her an application? I gave her the application and I gave her a heads up and I also explained something that was not explained to me The fact that the Aether Guards, if they exist or not, and the Red Wall, uh, not the Red Wall Guards, we're the Red Wall Guards uh, The mercenaries sort of just don't like us, I guess uh, It's a complicated situation, a few select people in the mercenaries don't like us uh, But several are decent and don't have problems, I've been on mis- I know Red, I wouldn't call him a friend, but he's a, an acquaintance at least. I've gone on missions with him, and he's decent. Garrick seems pretty decent as well, so I know a couple of them in the mercenaries. There's a few that do give us a hard time, but they we've been working on it, and Kai's kind of more or less squashed the beef, more or less. They're still kind of jerks. Okay, this is an amazing uh, to know that they are trying to squash the threat is amazing because typically speaking, we both have the common interest of not letting any bastard that'll kill us from the swamp get in here. We typically see eye to eye on a lot of things. Not all of them, of course. That's why we squabble, apparently. But a couple of things like making sure this place isn't overrun. We both see that. We both try to do that. We're both sort of on the same side. Meanwhile, they're like... Yes, but we get a flat paycheck for that, and they get paid for each incident they have to deal with. And if we deal yeah. with it, they're not getting paid. They, uh, but by us dealing like with the threats that happen here, frees them up for the bigger, higher-paying jobs that happen outside of Redwall. And they know that. Precisely. They just are sometimes... Again, like, th there's like three or four of them that are jerks about it. Uh, but it's gotten I a lot better, and except for those, like, two or three people, which I don't know their names, because uh, I don't deal with them, uh, you won't have any problems if you join us. Mm. Also, uh, my sister. Yeah, and, she uh... If you see my sister, let her know about the healer guild. I think that will be great for her to join. Sometimes we butt heads with the wine right. crew, but that's mainly because, well... Who doesn't? Well, they kind of skirt the law, so we're going to end up occasionally... You know, Eugene sometimes breaks things. Osmodeus tends to not have a huge respect for the law. So... I've noticed. Osmodeus mm. doesn't respect anything. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Especially the pores. The pores? All oh, those poor peasants. Is he one of those people that would explode if you got a bit of dirt on his cloak. He's got the Excuse me, you know that me, me and my sister are poor people. Or folk. I have no... He has the problem, and that's kind of how he speaks about um, people. I'm just kind of showing you to let you know that that's how he kind of... Uh, I know I'm supposed to protect If you go peace. in and you tell him... But I think you his can't... existence threatens the peace. Oh, it's oh, fucking... I hate tonight, today, whatever the time it fucking is. Okay, then. Oh. Try not to break someone's arm today, but you know. 
But you noticed uh, most of the other wine crew are decent people. They don't have necessarily the same problem as Osmodeus would, so... I didn't do anything. <sighs> I, I'm gonna go patrol the area. Um, you know, if you wanna... I'm I'm not gonna give you orders. I'm not a captain. Anything did I, so by the way, anything did I miss? Anything happen? Apparently, a lot of things happened as she explained to me. It doesn't happen. out the swamp. Anyway, did anything happen today? Um, let's see. Um, take it easy. Some... I will be somewhere in town if you need any more assistance, even though I'm not a part of it yet. I'll still... I'm gonna help a bit. <sighs> if I can, that is... Now, that that would greatly appreciate it. Let's see, what happened today? Um, some people that looked like Torg um, had a complaint about how Alwyn was apparently trailing them in the swamp, and they weren't happy about that. And they also want to get land here in Redwall, so they'll be coming back and speaking to Kai and Alwyn directly about the complaints as well as them wanting to get land. Um, and using them as a point of contact to to the mage, mage people. Um, there was the beetle situation where those elemental beetles that we dealt with before, uh, yeah, they were around again. And apparently there was a whole hive. Um, because I was the only one here, Goodness. I couldn't really stop any from going... For nor could, you know, we wouldn't stop them from anyway. So I ended up um, just, you know, warning people that if they go into the swamp, they risk harming themselves. To this issue, we should just put a big sign near the dock to the swamp that says, Warning, this dock, this boat, leads to the swamp. If you proceed from here, things will get very dangerous. We... I did put signs up, or at least I do have Does it actually, okay. okay. I, Not everyone I, in town it, reads. It extra dimensionally, does it actually exist? I'm also blind, so I can't see words. It exists, but um, people don't read it, they can't read it, or even when I told them that it's dangerous and they can be severely harmed by whatever might attack them in the swamp, <laughs> they came back and they were like, well, I didn't know My, that yeah, I could be seriously hurt. In in my opinion, so long as they know that they are in danger if they go into the swamp. That was kind of my point, mm -hmm. is let, that let I, I was like, yeah. you know, I'm not going to... The Most of the people that are here today went rushing into the swamp and they came back and they were like, well, we didn't know we could get hurt. Um, and then they found out. And then Bryant took the ones that, you know, are competent and... Not, I wouldn't say competent, but the ones that know how to defend themselves, that know how to um, prevent themselves from being hurt and stuff. Uh, he took a small group out there to deal with the hive that they found out there. Um, oh, um, if you were to speak to some of the people here, apparently there was an umbral out there. I um, can't say I've come across a beast like that. Oh, you don't know what an umbral is because you would be kind of panicking right now. Um... Umbrals are a very serious threat. They are... Go away. Let's see, we deal with a lot of serious threats, but an umbral is a magic construct. Um, I don't know if you were around to see that uh, one Warforge that's, like, glowy and purple. The Ali one, I think I've seen him, maybe. Uh... He's a. He's, he's all. He's all like a. Uh, he's hold on. Kind of like a like warforge, a... but not really. You know. But war. <sighs> Umbrals are kind of like warforge, only they're very strong, and the only way you can take them down is by striking their core. Isn't striking the core typically considered most ways of d destroying a um? Yes, but other constructs, no, you can still damage them 
and hurt them in other ways. You can oh, do take... they not? Do they just feel absolutely nothing and not even flinch? There's that and everything else, but you the know, core. Um, if you like, they are pretty much indestructible except for their core. You could try to take out like with a, with warforges. If you took out the head, you know they might still be operational, but they can't see and stuff. Uh, or if you take out their arms. You know, there's other ways you can kind of, you know, make them not a threat, but not take them out. Uh, umbrals are a lot different than that. You, if you, I've dealt with them only once. They are a very serious threat. Uh, or actually, no, I'm misremembering. Sounds absolutely lovely. I've heard of them. Uh... They apparently invaded Redwall once, and Bryant was here for the invasion of Redwall. I would recommend that you talk to Kai and Alwyn if you want to learn more about Umrals, and I would recommend you do so, because they are... If I ever are... see them here again... You might run into them eventually, but... Short story, uh, they're not actually Umbrals. It was... I talked to Bryant, he saw it, and, you know, he's seen a real one from defending the town. Um, it looks like an umbral, but it's not an umbral. But it still sacks, uh, sim it still absorbs energy like an umbral. Uh, umbrals kind of sap magical energy as well. So I gotta include that in my report. Uh, basically I have a very, very, very long and uh, thick report to write up to catch Kai and all went up with what's going on. You guys kind of missed a lot in the, in most of the day, and a lot of um beyond this realm, extra dimensional issues. If you catch my meaning. Also, I need to speak to Kai because I I need to figure out what our uh, what the chain of command is later in the day because <sighs> i don't i i can't i feel really stupid and idiotic that i like especially when uh, those i'm just going to call them barbarians because i'm not you know sure who they were but uh when they came and they were acting for the captain like and I'm the only guard here, it felt really s weird and silly that I had to talk to them about that situation. So, I need to have a conversation with Kai about that. Maybe put you in charge in the afternoons. I won't be here all the time, as evident from me uh... arriving fashionably late. But I can try my best. I'll talk to him about it and find out what he kind of wants done because there has to be some kind of thing to deal with those kind of situations, especially if we get more people that can help during the afternoon. So it would be nice if it yeah. wasn't just like the three of us when they're out doing whatever Love they do around more, this time of um, year. Love to see more faces. <sighs> In a general. <sighs> yeah, basically. I honestly agree with that significantly. I'm hoping this person we're trying to acquire shows up more often and then you know <laughs> we um have at least four people ish in rotation well that would be nice oh. looks stupid <sighs> I have a question. Mm -hmm. Did anyone see who took Eugene's eye from his eye socket? I had to put it back in. <sighs> what? Oh, 
I'm moving in. Oh. Where is he? Oh. I already fixed it. Which was a surprise to me. I never did eye surgery before, but I guess... I but I still need to ask him, him who did it. Uh, I'm not sure. He just left a while ago and Pommel, well, occupied our attention. I'll look for him. I'll let you guys know over Sending Stones if I find him. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably turn that on. I'm trying to defend you here, Mako. I don't need defending. I'll burn down Red Bull with all my oh. dynamite. Um, excuse me? Why, why, why does she have dynamite? <laughs> Hi. Yeah, that's one way. I have a sword. This isn't too. dynamite. Can, can, okay. Um, work, I, appreciate hands, I, I, I appreciate you don't have hands. I I appreciate you don't have dynamite in your hands, but what you said was also was a little joking. bit concerning. Oh, you're the slime from I, look. Well, I think that's what a joking is, slime. right? As long as you're joking, I mean, you you agreed. What's and, a joking? What is I doing it right? Did I do it okay? You know, is you you did it fine. I you weren't serious, right? A slime can transform. No. Then, you know, you did it joking good if you weren't serious. Oh, yeah, okay. <gasps> cool! I did it good! I, I did it good! I did it good! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! Hey, Brian, he's free. He climbed out the window. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to get into that. Have you seen Eugene? I'm Hash. Uh, last time I saw he ran towards the healing house and... I, I, I forget if, if I... If he's not there, he's fully back at the winery. Thank you. Eugene. Trish. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Trish. What They're happened? trying to sell whiskey at the winery. <laughs> Who's trying to sell whis whiskey and what happened to your eye? That's what I was looking for you for. Someone told me you took someone took out your eye. Oh, it got better. But they're selling whiskey. You gotta help. You, you gotta arrest them. <sighs> okay. If I go and talk to them, you have to tell me who took out your eye. Deal? Oh, it was Salieri. It got better. That... <sighs> I don't know They're faces not or names. She's the, the she's the banshee. Um, physical description: description red cape. You've not re hair. met the banshee yet. Oh, oh! Why did she pull out what? She was calm. She was nice. Why in the blue blazes did she pull out? I'm confused. What's going on here? The guy behind the bar. Um, like any food? arrest him. Um, are you trying to take over the winery? She worked with the winery? No, I'm actually trying to provide. No, Jin, give him permission. He was talking with her. He's evil. Eugene's taking it the wrong way. It's going to be a potential business deal. Okay. Eugene. Poison them against me. Hmm. Eugene, they're agreeing Eugene, it's to it. I'm still leaving. To, um... We only sell wine. We can't be a winery and a whiskeryery. I guess. All right. Um, I'll. Oh, I'll get I some fire wine. Dream. Will that make you a little more comfortable? Maybe I just dreamed it all. Yes. Up. All right. Then. Jeans, not pretty, pretty, pretty neat. A winery having other things. All right. Also, so did you guys see the whole situation of the bard off. taking out his eye? That's kind of the more serious thing I'm worried about. This is a rat being, um, Pummel <laughs> just ran into, into the what? guard building. Um, apparently uh, Eugene had his uh, eye anyone? pulled out of his eye you socket. This... It wasn't pulled out of his eye socket. What had happened? And... I saw the penguin. There over. was a penguin-like thing that, when you squished it, it just kind of squished and then de-squished. So the bard did the same thing to Ruplop's eye. Realized that it wouldn't do the same thing. Ruplop started crying, so Eugene just kind of like poked her near her eye. And so she and her in retaliation took her dagger and put it to his eye. As you can see, total misunderstanding. 
But that happens a lot here. No, that does not happen a lot. I'd say it's oh. more than that, Miss. I, I do have to let Kai know, but it, if he in, uh, instigated it, it could be considered self-defense. Yeah, it's a uh, well. With with already from it, with already made wine, it tends to go so, I mean, quicker since it's. It's He's fine. They the put his eye back in. Along with the wine. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Time, Even though he's healed, found, so that's very to, uh, painful to have to heal with. the same kind of flavoring with, uh, with already pre-made No, yeah, that's true. There you was one thing before also, he did poke her. See, like, After she stuck her part, finger like, in Rupp's like, eye, kind of she wiped her finger off on his shirt. A little bit of magic and a little bit of fermentation. I'll include that. Um, and I, Sorry, Eugene is not wanting to press charges, but I do still have to let, I still have to let Kai know that it occurred. What's going on? No, I'm not, hey, I'm not a grass. Yeah, I'm fine. I, water I, I, I know, you're not pressing charges and I will make note of that, but we still have to make note of that. Don't tell anyone. I took one of your cheaper wine and try something. Well, not try something, I, uh... I have it like because you asked. There's like I will not find it because you asked. But you have to make sure you don't make um, mention of it so to anyone else. I learned on my travels how and if to someone asks, fire wine from people, other than me, pre-made wine. If Kai if Kai get hairs of it from the healers guild, spices, little bit of magic, and the healers and guild tells are lying, like, grapes and everything to the process. Say that. Again, a little bit of science, a little bit of magic. And I'll back and you up. Tons of yeah. So, if you would like, okay. give Thank this you. a try and see how it fares. <sighs> I see. A bottle of it's the least a I can do. Of freshly made fire wine. Well, again, with the Some people so are so effectively despite their past. Quality of the wine mixed I've done some horrible things. The, uh, I know people spices. are bad, but... Hmm. I... I, let's see, uh, let's try it out. I'm not gonna hurt you, Eugene. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide here for a few minutes, if that's okay. Sure, don't, just don't hide in the water. It's it's dirty, full of slag and shit. So. Uh, yeah, I remember Grimmy telling me. You don't think like this water is like safe to drink or anything? Like, no, this is just a quenching barrel. We put iron in it, full of flux and slag and all kind of particles. You seen a penguin? No, I did not I see any penguin. Penguin ran up to the training yard. By the way, oh, oh, the training yard. This way. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they can deal with that. I've been dealing with everything else for the rest of the day. They can deal with that one small thing of a penguin. I mean, it's not hurting anybody anything else. I don't think you need to get involved. Uh, and if it was serious, I'd get involved, but it's a penguin, and I know that penguin. It's harmless. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not... Uh... Oh, we had quite a day. Ah, oh, that would be an understatement. Well, you're always welcome to chill here. It's always calm, and nobody comes by so often, so... Yeah. It's a nice place to hide. Even if, you know, there's other people working on things, it's nice hearing the rhythm of, you know, the hammers. Yeah. Well, you like know. I said, I've done, I had done most of the work at Aether before coming here, so... Just taking a break. Hmm. Can't see if there was anything to do, but things pretty calm. I did sharpen uh, Eugene's what's left of his sword. Well, he can kind of turn it into like an ice sword, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He showed me. He said that he needs it to be sharpened because the ice takes the shape of whatever's on the uh, on the what's left on the pommel. So I'm like. That I makes sense. My, I was going to ask. And just shaped it. I was going to ask why bother sharpening it when the rest of it is just going to be sharp ice, but I guess that makes sense. 
Yeah, well, I mean, if you want it to be ever sharpened, like, it can still hurt people, the, the, the bit that's left. It's just not super effective at finding. But, uh, since he can... I mean, I did see him form ice on it, so I thought that, you know, he didn't, he didn't want the other end to be dull either. Because he wouldn't want to be both <laughs> caught with the ice part and then get stuck on the metal part, right? Yeah. I don't know, he's, that, that Eugene seems to be really getting in trouble and like hurt all the time. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, he gets a, hurt a lot. He he tends to be very trusting towards people. Yeah. No, it's it just does seem a little naive sometimes. <laughs> in some ways, he's naive, and in others, I think he knows more of what's kind of going on than he lets on. Well, I mean, people are still there. As Modeus, I'm pretty sure there's like a lot of things he's heard, hear about. I do feel like there's some of that that's kind of going on. That. There's, you know, whatever Osmodeus has on him. Diffused. By the way, the whole thing right. about Eugene, um, I I spoke to the, you know, the winery crew. Uh, apparently, it was an over exaggeration, and it it didn't really happen. Like his entire eye wasn't really pulled out. Ah, uh, what happened exactly? Did he just get, did he fall on a dagger or something? There was like a thing where apparently the penguin's eyes bulged out when the bard Solieri kind of squeezed the penguin. And after that, um, she tried to do it with, uh, with Eugene, I think. And when it wouldn't come out, hello. New, new. Huh, you sound different than... You must be a different penguin. Uh, I ran into a penguin that looks fairly similar, but um, could talk. Oh, so that's what you call it, a penguin. Oh, no. I would, uh... Ah. Uh, okay. Is that how it's supposed to sound like? Uh, the one that could talk... Had like a really high pitched, like voice, mm -hmm. and was like very innocent sounding. Uh, wasn't very deep like that. Hmm. But this is a well, different penguin, in Red Bull. and this one doesn't seem to talk. Yeah. So, like the other one can. So, penguin, can you fly? It will put you for flying. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I guess I'm 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 sitting here uh, corrected. As soon as it stops flapping, it's gonna fall and splat like a pancake on the ground, and for just <laughs> for just a moment, and then it's just gonna reform back to its original shape. So this is a. Um, is it, is that like a slime-like creature? Are they supposed to do that? It's like Play-Doh when... <laughs> I, I have a character I know, just Lupus has no idea what Play-Doh is or... I... Anything. Like, I never seen like... Live it's Play a so. description of what I'm meaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was told it was a uh... flightless bird. I thought it was just a regular animal. No, well, it seems like it can fly and then... Squish and stretch back to shape? I don't know. Uh, like can you sense demonic energy? No. I do have death affinity and I can speak to dead. Well, that's not going to work because... <laughs> <coughs> well, 
Yeah, Wouldn't yeah. demonic be undead too, or just demonic in general? It's demonic. It's like a different thing. Okay. I mean, I, can, I believe you'd be able to sense magic and affinities, but nothing. Dem I mean, it, if you have an affinity, we'll probably sense that. But besides that, no. You're gonna feel a dark energy around this penguin. Hmm. Seems this one has a little bit of dark affinity. Okay. Just a split second, you're going, you know, the little animation of the pangu. It's like, mew, mew. the opera singing. Just for a split yeah. second, you see the little red dots in its eyes. So, um, that penguin situation that was dealt with, um, hmm. looks, looks like you can see in the dark too. What was the penguin situation? Like, how do you say that? Because the penguin situation was apparently the penguin was trailing a blue haired person, I mean... forget their name. Uh, because they left medical early or some stuff, they were actually Wait, fine. Well, it's just the penguin was uh, handling this in well, uh, not the best uh, way. You, you know, when you think so you've seen it all here, they were running from the penguin, and the penguin just uh, was endlessly pursuing. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't. Mm hmm. Mm. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, oh, anyway, I had voices in my head. I was then on the penguin oh, sorry, part. No, I was saying uh, when Apparently you think you was fine, but the penguin didn't the know that. Something so he kind of chased you. him around town, mm. trying to get him like back into the healer's hut. Within the penguin for just a little moment, but. Like dark as in like evil or dark affinity. No, no, dark affinity. Dark affinity is not really evil. Well, I know, that's why I was kinda of checking. So yeah, if they're just dark affinity. I mean I'm death, so Yeah. Yeah. Negative energy magic is not necessarily evil. Like a sword, I mean it can be used to protect or murder, depending on who uses it, right? Yeah. Anyway. Not like he can do anything in town. It can. It's just... Someone would either need to consent or... You know, it can bother people. Well, yeah. That's the most it can do. Unless... Yeah, someone lets it, lets it hurt at them, but... I mean... Well, most well, of what yeah, we like have to do is here, just dealing with either serious sweat threats that come from the swamp, or if the protection is down, or you know, dealing with theft uh, and you know, crimes that are not covered under the protection. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Things seems to be a little uh, hectic in the wall. I usually glad that I'm in Aether, where it's usually calm. So time. I mean, we have that freaking problem with the uh, the meatballs, as they call them. When I was there, it was wizard weed. What's the deal with the meatballs? Uh, I mean, called Banda. Some of them, like a while ago in Red Wolf, and there are these like balls of flesh with lots of little mouths that you know roll around. And apparently, they made a nest in Aether underneath the island. So we're dealing with infestation right now on. Well, he has done anything so far yet to deal with it, but getting out of the island is not quite an easy task because you need a proper boat that can fly, and you you don't want to crash into under <laughs> into this island, right? Yeah. Did you ever find the one that got into the wizard weed? Uh, I mean, we we kill it whenever we find it, so I think that one was been dealt with unless it's hiding. I mean, I think the worst part is yellow yeah, will probably just get really high for a while after eating it. Oh no. Oh no, that's that's a bad... that's a bad spot. Eh, I mean, oh, you probably just... Longer. I mean, you probably at most see things and hear music. I mean, that's what I experienced when I tried to visit Veed. I don't feel anything. When I tried it. I guess it's more, uh, FX Mage is more than Mundane. 
Ah, eh, fair enough. I mean, it doesn't call it with visit beat for nothing. <laughs> Everything okay? Oh, I'm tired. Yeah, he helped with the whole beetle situation. Yeah, I mean, I think you were one part of it. No, whose bag of holding did you use? Was it yours? Yeah, it was mine. I guess I'll have to replace it. I'll ask uh, Zyra to make one of them. No, it's fine. I mean, you've, you've helped the town. That's you actually, you know, if it dealt with the, the threat, that's actually good. Though we'll have I mean, to, I did capture you know, remember some beetles alive. If you guys want me to drain one and put it, uh, put a new uh, element into it. Well, what did he do? What, what did he do with the element? They, uh, the beetles eat, well, they don't eat, they absorb the element you give them. Yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that, yeah. So depending on the element they take, they do something? Yep. Mm. The one we, first one we caught actually was a fire one. Hmm. I wouldn't feed it lightning though. I'm not. I don't think that would be good. I wonder what happened if I gave it metal magic. Would it harden? <sighs> no fire or lightning, please. No. Yeah, no. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> it's not stupid. I mean, Although, what do you like do with the? Metal, be... Oh, sorry. No, I mean, wasn't running. If you feed met, if you make absorb metal, does the carapace become hard? And then it could you just. You know, kill it then and use the the, the carapace that that way, but that's not you know he were not a beetles at some point. Yeah, you'd have. I mean, I have six, seven beetles. Probably yeah. enough for oh, a I... good uh, starting breeding. Yeah, I just wonder what kind of metal it would be. If it's in use. Well, I mean. If if you had a fire one, you could probably use it to heat the forge in different ways. No, I guess. I mean, it depends on how much tame it can be and how much how easy it is to control. Because if 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 you don't, you know, if it sneaks out of the, uh, out of the forge and goes, you know, put the town on fire, that would be not that wouldn't be a good thing. Yeah, that'd be. I want. Would a water beetle continuously make water? Huh. Hmm. I don't know if I would drink a water milk from a beetle. I mean, I do have a decay beetle. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that'd be pretty good to get rid of junk or make fertilizer, I guess, with that. It would speed up the process. I also have a dark beetle. That one, we, mm. it suits out like a, a substance that almost blind, not blinds you, but it hit Ash's glasses and it completely darkened them. Like a dye? Almost like a little bit, but... I don't know. There's... I mean, if... If it's like, what well, does it, does it, is it, is it just like a black guy or does it like... Oh, so I'm back. <sighs> Who's dead? Poked him with a stick and he thing. didn't respond, so... Uh, there we go. It I was mean, a nice break. Where is he? Oh, well, he's over there. Oh, so he's not he's dead. So okay. You, why you look so shocked? What's wrong? You look very shocked. Do I? You might have to He's blink. Uh, He's peaceful right uh, now, so I'm gonna head up to the that. HQ. What I'm sorry, what did you say? We're, we're, we're such deep friends, Everything. but I can tell from a mile away when you're in your world. I mean, I would say we're acquaintances. I wouldn't say we're close friends. I know, it was a joke. Oh, sorry, that went over my head. Are we friends, Triss? 
Yeah. Everything goes in my head. I'm very short here. Yeah, fair enough. <sighs> I don't have any friends. I'll be setting off for tonight. Taking your hammer. Then seems to look peaceful. I made a promise, uh, so I'm going to keep it. Understood. Do take care. Uh, I was just going to sort it. I fooled all of you. That's why I don't have friends. Knock on wood before you leave. Oh, dang it, too late. I'm gonna knock yeah, on wood then. Like it depends on what you're gonna use it for and if you bring it back. Knock, 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 yeah. knock, knock. Come here. <sighs> Back here, <laughs> just walks away. <laughs> oh, it's almost the end of the day. I don't want any I more problems. Yeah, I closed up early for the tavern. Yes, some yeah. folks decided to switch to the winery. Mm. I can see you through the foliage. Don't know why. It's <laughs> too expensive for my blood. <sighs> Oh no, where did Pommel go? Uh, people just sit here. People like a nice wine every now and then. He doesn't know that I told him. Mm. I'm the... It's, you know, got nice flavors to it, but... Yeah, but a golden glass. Just no Baltic vinegar from here, I know. Today's a weird day. Well, it depends on the... If you're on the uh, bottom shelf, it's a gold for a bottle. Oh, really? What? It was a gold for a cup. Yeah. For the bot. I was. Are they giving me discounts because I'm Redwall Guard and they're trying to butter me up? Probably. Probably. <sighs> Corruption is only as corrupt as the cruelty in which it induced. Well, they never told me they were giving me a discount or that they were slipping me, what like, was any kind of thing. That. That was. Eye of the storm, Claire. What the fuck? Huh? What? 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 Still? No. I don't know. Did you have a headache? You know, I was told that the poison that went to my system would linger a bit. I don't remember, but I think that might have been it. I'll use that excuse. What That's happened to you? Anyways, what are we talking to? Uh, something that apparently induces mana burn through its poison. Yeah, uh, that sounds like a... It, uh, it, uh, yeah. It's a wonder you came it back drank, so bloody. It oh, it, uh, okay, so... <laughs> who are you? Are you, the, are you the manifestation of the sins of my past? No, I think this is a <laughs> I think it finally has caught up to me. This is why I should have been moving. I should have no, never come here. No, we don't see it also, so it's not your man. I mean, I don't think uh, it's So, here. basically, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it or not, but given that it's Akira, I don't think they'd mind, since no. you're probably going to obviously notice the difference. Okay, well, we'll um, the yeah, he's going to get his have... eyesight back because we fought Hold a thing and stole one done. of his organs. Anyway. Uh, all right, that's good to know, then. We basically oh. beat up a mythological creature and stole its kidneys. Or was it its liver, bladder, whatever? What does the kidney and the bladder have to do with eyes, though? It uh, it could turn invisible. It could float through the air. It had a bunch of tendrils. It broke a lot of kneecaps. Um, it almost killed us multiple times. Uh, it was pitch dark. We did it last night. I haven't slept in more than forty-eight hours. Uh, um, we uh, used yeah, a lot of magic. I almost killed Angnon through a dynamite mishap. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, uh, I think we stole a lot of its organs and parts, and now we're gonna use it to cure Akira and nothing else. Because we're responsible. We don't have other uh, ill intentions as individuals. I, I mean, think. I was gonna ask what it does a liver and bladder have to do with eyes, but... It, uh, it apparently, like, it apparently disintegrates things that it digests or bites into, and, like, it's, uh, it's very thing that, like, poison you. And... Okay. Like, it could poison you, and you have to get it out magically, apparently. I understand. But I think some of it's still in me, so you know, that's the whole reason why I've been acting strange. That's the whole, that's the whole canon. Whole, whole, right. whole thing. Whole, uh, whole explanation satisfies, satisfies everybody, even people who aren't here.
Yes, but what would have eyesight? How does the liver help with eyesight? It's a, it's a, okay, so basically, apparently, uh, because it could, uh, break down its poison in its body, we had to use a body part that breaks down the poison to cure the poison in him, I oh, guess. Oh, okay, so you're gonna use okay. it as a al alchemical ingredient to make an anti-poison for the poison. Yeah, that's what it was. Alright, okay, apparently, then now I can yeah. get it, I get it, okay. I'm guessing the poison came from it, it's for some reason, and now we have it. Garrett with the same thing. That makes thing. More, a lot more sense. What yeah. did I miss? Hello! It's been it's so long. Healed, it's been like We're 20 off. days. Where have you been? He's kind of I'm been here all day. Home. I know, I'm just, I was messing with I'm him. Good one this. Go that far. Yeah. this is why pranks are detrimental to a very functioning society, because it feeds on our basic things. I mean, I wouldn't call that praying, I would mostly just call it a joke. What? That too. Jokes are the bane of all people, that's why you should never have fun. Mm. Okay. I don't believe that's true. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I know, it's a joke. Just... You're so tired, you can't tell the changes that you're so Yeah, I think you need some rest, my friend. I've been up, let's see, cause like all, cause technically, uh, yesterday is when we got the go-ahead that it was happening, and then it happened last night, so I went from yesterday into then, and did that all night, and then I came here, so it's been more than 48 hours since I've slept, which is also an excuse. Uh, right. yeah. Yeah, While you, you were all sleeping, we were all getting gorged and gouged and legs bro broken and running through the woods of some you random gore, forest. Gorged. <laughs> yeah, gorged that. is when you've, you've been forced feed or something. Well, we were technically being gorged, uh, being fed its poison through uh, deep gouges of slashes and being dragged up into the trees. Which was right. Experience. Well, I'm gonna go head to the guild. I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Later. Yeah, bye. -bye. Nice. You want to go back to the guild hall, Paul? Can we? I don't yeah, think sure the Nexus lot. works. Yeah, maybe. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, all my energy's up. Exact timing. Oh, so, yeah, sure. <clears throat> this was a day I wish to never be reminded of, and if any of you bring it up, I'll deny it. Bring what up? Exactly. Good. <clears throat> I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I've probably already forgotten. Where are all of you again? <sighs> I never introduced Luckily, nice my home is just right That's there. My name is Christoph oh Reese Uhong Motoro Kinaya, but everyone here refers to me by uh. Yamaro? The Uzumaki? Uh. What? No. What? Okay. You're tired. You need to go. Reese, everyone <sighs> is fine. Reese, okay, <sighs> hi, Mr. Reese, or Miss, I don't know what you are. Time for me to just no, not deal guy. with this day anymore. Okay. I am going to bed. Am I going the right way? I don't know if I'm being carried oh, no, or not. Be. I'm, I'm, you are being. <laughs> I think I'll be taking my, okay. my leave. Put your head up. Okay. Enough. 